What is up everyone, John here, and in today's video we're going to be taking a look at the Williams Mug Shave Soap. I'm going to be giving you guys a quick little review of this. Now, I've already recorded this video two times, and this is my third attempt at recording it. First time, the memory card corrupted. Second time, swapped out another memory card. I forgot to format it, that memory card filled up in the middle of recording. Starting over again. This time we're doing it live. Uh, I'm going to just do this real quick and dirty and let you guys see. Uh, my opinions on this not gonna be shaving in it. I've already shaved and uh, Just gonna kind of give you some opinions on this so because I've been using this for about a week All right, and by the way, I must say shade I've shaved my neck. I'm no shave November ring right now um, But I've been using this for about a week a little over a week actually and it's left me uh, Wanting a, something a little different. I'll say that it's not exactly satisfied me. It's uh, really cheap It's Williams mug shaving soap for a long-lasting lather and it is 1.75 ounces, one and three quarter ounces, at about $1.29 for a puck. I've got my Williams mug uh, sitting here in this little coffee mug, and I've got a little coat hanger glued onto it here, bent into a hook for hanging my safety razor on it. It's a nice little setup. You can put your razor in there, your puck in the bottom, six in the bottom. You got your brush right there. I've got my brush preloaded with water, so we can just jump right into it. So let's go ahead and take a look at the Williams mug. I've already got the puck in here and uh, start lathering up. I'm going to take my razor out of here so it's not rattling around. I'm going to lather it up and let you guys see how the lather lasts with it. Because it says on the box, for a lasting lather. And my experience has been a little less than that, unfortunately. I really wanted to like this soap. I mean, I tried it and I tried it. And, uh, and I've tried it as a really wet lather and as a really dry lather. And no matter what I do, it always has these really big bubbles and it becomes really sudsy and almost like a foam rather than a cream. And it happens very quickly. I'm going to try and get something. We've got a nice thick lather. And you can see it develops a nice big lather, but the bubbles are really big. And uh, we'll go ahead and we'll apply it here to the skin. And you can see, well, it looks like it looks nice now. And uh, we'll just get that on there nice and thick. And I'm going to go ahead and lather it on there. Just give it as much of a chance as I can get some nice fine bubble started. So it'll last a little longer. And uh, we'll give it about 30 seconds. We'll give it a minute. We'll let it go a minute. What is it right now? All right. I'll let it go a minute. Okay, it's been roughly a minute and uh, actually about a minute down to the second there and you can see that it has dissipated quite a bit. You can see you can see through down, see through down to the skin. Still got some slickness to it, but you can almost hear the bubbles popping whenever I run my finger across because the bubbles are just so big. So it's uh, it's a really slick soap. But it doesn't offer a lot of protection, strangely enough. I've tried it with just these no-name dollar store brand blades that are very mild and not as sharp that I get locally. And then I've tried it with Astro blades, which are still mild, but a little more aggressive than those. And they're very sharp. And the Astro blades just cut me to cut me up with this thing. I've got a few cuts on my neck and on my face uh, using this soap because it just doesn't have good protection. And one could attribute it to technique, I guess. But even then, being very gentle with it, it's still I've managed to get uh, get cups with it. I just don't see a lot of reason to go with the Williams mug. I've, uh, you know, like I said, I like the scent of it. It's got this lemon drop scent, but I don't see a lot of reason to go with it just because it doesn't work well as a shave soap. So uh, yeah, that's just my quick and dirty review of uh, the Williams mug shave soap. Don't really recommend it. You know, there's better options than the price, and it doesn't have to be the Vanderhug, and it can be whatever it is. But there's plenty of other options in the price range. I think that performed better uh, than this stuff. So anyway, guys, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to leave it a like in the video down below or in the description down below. What? Be sure to leave it a like down below. Leave me a comment down in the comment section down below if you have any opinions or suggestions for future videos. And subscribe to me if you want to see more videos like this from me. And I will see you in the next one. Later.